Um, I was asked to speak to you tonight about magic. <laughs> this is not the kind of magic of pulling rabbits out of hats or making beautiful women disappear because of sleight of mirrors. This is not the Hogwarts version of magic, where candles float above celebration feasts and mandrake roots scream when you try to repot them. It is also not devil worship or elaborate demonized rituals that are often portrayed by media and religious groups. This is the magic of nature. It is the magic of sexual sorcery. It is the energies that are inherent within us and how we use them to have a better and more successful life. Magic embraces the natural law and order of the universe. As above, so below. As within, so without. As humans, we are an integral part of nature and the natural order of the universe. And we are created by the same flow of cosmic energy that has created every single particle around us. Crowley defined magic as the art and science of causing change to occur in conformity with our will. So what does that mean? In essence, Magic is the act of connecting with the universal energy of life in both its physical and its spiritual sense with the intent of making change within yourself or in your life towards what you are truly meant to do. Sex magic refers to various types of sexual activity used in magical, ritualistic, religious, and spiritual pursuits. The premise is that sexual energy is an incredibly potent natural force that can be harnessed and used to transcend one's reality. It can use the intense sexual energy of arousal coupled with visualization at the moment of orgasm to cause a desired result to occur. Or one can perform a sex act but withhold orgasm which allows the energy to stay within the practitioner to be used for something else. It can be performed alone for charging amulets or ritual tools. It can be used to purify and align and strengthen our chakras. Work can also be performed on the astral plane. It can be used in a group setting and it can be used with a partner. In all of these areas, we can use it for the creation of immortality for communication with other life forms, with a manifestation of energies, personal or spiritual evolution, or for the great right. Sexual sorcery is one of the most important aspects of modern magic, as it unlocks a method of sorcery which is found only within our own bodies, within ourselves. As a form of magic, it unites both Eastern and Western philosophies, and it merges the techniques of many differing schools of thought of magic. It origin, its origins can be found in the Eros Gamos, which is a sacred marriage of a god and a goddess in ancient Greek and Egyptian religions, as well as the animistic belief of our ancestors, who believed that the earth was a fertile woman and sky, the sky god was her lover. So when it rained, the god semen fertilized the earth goddess. We live in a period where sex is often seen as a simple release of pent-up frustration. However, from the point of view of sexual sorcery, neither this nor hedonism is acceptable. Sex is a creative impulse, and it is an act of power. Those of us who practice magic challenge Western's cultures and approach to life. And we question many of the beliefs that society tells us is true. We do not believe in hell. We do not believe in the devil. And we do not worship Satan. We don't believe in the need for a third party to act as a go-between between ourselves and the divine energy. And we see no need for an elaborate physical structure 
in which we need, to con we need to use to connect with an energy that is already within ourselves and in everything around us. To fully understand sexual sorcery, one must put aside their personal prejudices and their preconceptions. Enter into the study with an open mind and a willingness to see new ways of understanding and experiencing yourself and the universe. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.